Popular House of Assembly member resigns from APC. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The member representing Kwame Funakai, federal constituency of Gombe State and the House of Representatives, Yaya Tongu, has tendered a letter of resignation from the membership of All Progressive Congress. Hmm. Uh, well, it is also in the period like this that people defect, right? Maybe so somebody has prospected him to, to, to come to another party. Or maybe he has his reasons. Of course, people always have reason to move, most especially politicians. Politicians don't make moves that are not going to be beneficial to them. Never. Politicians never make moves that is not going to be beneficial to them at all. Let's find out more about the news in detail. Please stay with us. Tongo was elected on the platform of the APC in 2019. In the letter sent by this newspaper, Tongo cited several reasons for his decision. He cited infractions including an alleged hijack of the party's leadership in the state by unknown individuals. The letter dated December 1st, read in part. This decision of mine was arrived at after a careful observation of the numerous crises in the APC without any resolution in sight. All efforts made by well many members of the APC to bring about a peaceful resolution of this crisis continue to miss brick walls. Some individuals have hijacked all party machinery and have consistently refused some of us space to actively contribute to the development of the APC in Gombe State. Well, well, well. Huh. I, think, I thought that um, at the end of the day, this particular, there will be reasons stated here, but um, we don't see any reason here at all. We don't see any reason here at all. We don't actually see any reason here. All is budging on mind. There is, there is no politician that is trust, trustworthy. No, no. No, no. Don't say that. There are some, a few of them, no matter how see, there is no how. There is no how you are going to say politicians are all evil. No, they are all, no, no, you can't say that. There are some of them that still have a conscience. They still have a heart that pumps blood. <laughs> they have a conscience. And that heart is made up of flesh and blood, just like yours and mine. So um, his reasons, he didn't state it here. He just said maybe he's no longer comfortable. There are people who don't like crisis, no matter how you look at it. There are people who, no matter how you look at it, and no matter, they, they don't like crisis. Like in a place where there is so much chaos and there is so much dis disagreements and arguments, yeah, I don't think, even mentally, you will not even want to be there. Especially when you have tried your, your best to resolve issues. Man, you be, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, let me just leave me alone. Let me just them um, go. Let me have my peace. And he did not say he was actually living for another party. Well, well, our ears will be on the ground because we know it is a season of moving. But yes, we have been hearing about the APC actually having issues. And this issue has been going on for a long time. Like we've been hearing for a long time that APC is having issues. And we are like, ah, ah. this issue said they don't choose to resolve it. Now. Even the issue has been the one causing them to shift the convention. The convention that was supposed to happen... I think last year PDP did their own convention, and of course, um, that particular convention that happened, and we have even forgotten. But APC will fix today, tomorrow they will cancel because they are not, as in, they have not been able to resolve their crisis. Okay. He has legally disqualified himself from being a member of the House of Representatives. He should have rather they come to PDP or to any other party. There is no provision for independent candidates or representatives. You can only ride there or continue your ride on the back of the animal or in the vehicle called political party. Without a political party as a platform, you are floating and will be blown away into oblivion. I hope you will pick a party before former party files a suit to remove you. Well, you might also think about it. You might think about it, yes. You might have even done it, if it is not mentioned here. I think such acts is not willingly and ordinary. Rather, 
there is an invisible intimated hands and figure with corresponding acts of blackmail of all sorts. Another thing, that's what I say, some crisis. There are some people that they don't do well in crisis. Most especially when they have tried all their best and they are giving them headache. Please, day your day, let me do my own and they will pull out. Okay. Funny, funny identity. They are not playing the game. They know best. I told people before 2022 will come to an end. All the full and in APC will decamp and join PDP because PDP is too desperate to return to power. They will give a full and man ticket to the presidential ticket. They will leave Tinubu and his brother for APC and join PDP and take power back. This is their game plan. I don't think this is their game plan is going to work. So Nigeria's Momo don't do. The C in APC stands for crisis. Any right thinking person will follow your footsteps. Ha ha. You people are. Ah, people are violent. <laughs> Oh my god. Politicians who become are very selfish and serious. You think? You think. The party where they come to, you will see as someone that will leave tomorrow because things are not going your way. You are the campaign shame on you. Oh, chill. Take a chill pill, sir. This is not supposed to. See, anything that gives, I don't know about you, me, stress, mental stress. And it's not something like I can, I can resolve. I've tried. Ah, don't call me, I'll go. I won't come and be stressing me for nothing. Allow this man. This is a decision. It's of no consequence, but many are also resigning from that. Yes, there's no big deal to me. Okay. APC is a synonym to what people condemn. Haba. These people, you people are really violent too. You people in APC have not seen anything yet. You people conspire to frustrate Nigerians with your evil agenda and mantras called change. Next level. That is where Nigeria is true today. We will break in pieces like a pack of cards so soon. Almost some people are not happy at all. There should be a law prohibiting politicians from decamping to another party after winning an election. This is because many voters don't know them personally. They most time vote for a candidate because of the belief in their particular party manifestos. Who is doing that? Well, God, we have left that thing. You know, if you are still there, now you never see they do. You are no longer voting for people because of their party. Except you and maybe a few other people like you. We have tried voting for people with party, and it has landed us in problem. PDP came and, you know, APC, and, you know, you know the story now. If APC did well and PDP did well, sincerely, will not be weird today. But the APC and the PDP, they actually have their blame. Yeah, they have been. They actually have a portion of the blame, I mean. And, um, okay. Come and join a party where there is no hatred, neither there is no hatred and crisis. All that flows is love. Okay, will you take the cue, sir? On this note, we have come to, to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.